What is up, guys? It's your boy, Brit VR. Welcome to the show. Behind me is my website. It has free content on there for passive income for cryptocurrencies. Check them out when you can. Probably just check it out at the end of this video. Okay, guys, for what you came. So you guys want to figure out how to make artificial intelligent trading bot or a trading bot that learns on its own while you're asleep and make passive income. So we're gonna get into that. That's why I haven't been making videos. I haven't made a video for like a week. I've just been studying this and um, I've been really getting into this artificial intelligence. So basically at first we had AI and now we have machine learning and now we have deep learning. Deep learning is neural networking. So let me show you an example of what this is real quick. Not really, uh, we like the agent to learn, the deep learning to learn to read financial price charts like this and directly do by itself. So you might ask, why do we only give them the price, the price movement data? There are so many things going on in the world that's affecting the markets, right? There's economics, politics, and who knows, our president may say something tomorrow and entirely change the market for good. So, but the thing is, you gotta know, there's no one can never know everything going on in the world. And price is actually as good a representation of the entire world as you can get. Think about this, price, price, is the finalized decision by the buyers and sellers, which are us, based on our best understanding of the world. Even though the price may not be rational, a lot of the times, if you want to make the make money in the markets, you can only follow the price. You can't, you know, you buy low and sell high. It's not going to be the other way around. So we teach the agent to do this. We want them to trade the world's largest financial market, the Euro US dollar exchange rate market. We give them, in the beginning, we give them 2017's whole year worth of data and let it play around. In the beginning, it kind of looks like this. It has, the model has no idea what the chart means, has no idea even what buy and sell means. So it's just doing things in random. The results definitely not gonna be as good. You're not, you don't want this guy to manage your money, right? But just after a few days of training, the agent actually started to figure it out. He learns where to buy and where to sell. He learned that it's actually better to hold on to a trade longer and cut a long losing trade faster, which actually is the foundation of capital management. It learns to ride along with the price as opposed to going against the price. The foundation of technical analysis. What it's doing right now, it's actually a very ancient practice called technical analysis. It's been around for the past 200 years, almost as old as the modern market. Okay, so basically, he made this bot and it learned how to trade. So that's what we're gonna learn how to do. Let's go over here and just teach you what these basic things are right here really quick. Hello and welcome to a CAD Guild's tutorial on data science. In this video, we will explain the difference between three key concepts, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning to understand how they relate to the field of data science. First up, artificial intelligence, or AI. What is it? Artificial intelligence is simply any code, technique, or algorithm that enables machines to mimic, develop, and demonstrate human cognition or behavior. We are in what many refer to as the era of weak AI. The technology is still in its infancy and is expected to make machines capable of doing anything and everything humans do in the era of strong AI. To transition from weak AI to strong AI, machines need to learn the ways of humans. The techniques and processes which help machines in this endeavor are broadly categorized under machine learning. Machines learn in predominantly two ways. Their learning is either supervised or unsupervised. In supervised learning, machines learn to predict outcomes with help from data scientists. In unsupervised learning, machines learn to predict outcomes on the go by recognizing patterns in input data. When machines can draw meaningful inferences from large volumes of data sets, they demonstrate the ability to learn deeply. Deep learning requires artificial neural networks, ANNs, which are like the biological neural networks in humans. These networks contain nodes in different layers that are connected and communicate with each other to make sense of voluminous input data. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which in turn is a subset of artificial intelligence. The three technologies help scientists and analysts interpret tons of data and are hence crucial for the field of data science. 
Okay, guys, so you guys, uh, you got the basics, okay? You got the basics. So the first thing, where can you find this, uh, this data sets? Because you have to have data. You have to have a reason or something why you want to learn or what you want to learn. So um, this is Raven's Pack. Uh, this is a place where you have to pay. You know, you go over here and you pay. And, you know, it, look, they have cryptocurrencies. Track the sediment on some of the hottest cryptocurrencies in the market and you know you have you know stocks you got the global um, outlook you got the u.s large cap portfolios this is a place where you just go and get data and then you want to say you know if you want to say i want to make a trading bot well basically you're going to take this data um you're going to mess with the manipulate the data just a little bit you can manipulate the data by having um a trade and sell and you can make trades and sell off of uh the cryptocurrency market and have all the trades and sales win okay so that will be your data set so your first data set will be to have cryptocurrency data, Bitcoin data, maybe going to back to 2009 or maybe going back to 2015 on the Poloniex market or whatever market you wanna have. And you wanna have it, all the trades winning trades. Now, another place where you can go is uh, Tago. Tago uh, is a great place. Um, you come over here and it's free information. This is information that people put on here, just give away for free for people like me and you to play with this data and to make sense of it. So over here, I came up to this guy's, uh, he has the cryptocurrency market data, uh, historical cryptocurrency price for all tokens. Um, he says he has the uh, historical open, high, low, close, trading value, and market cap um, in form of all cryptocurrencies. He said he actually went through all this data set, as you can see right here, and it was probably critical to go through there. And this is his data set right here, guys. Uh, look at it. Let's look at it. You got the close, the volume, the spreads. He has the uh, close rate ratio. Let's go over here at the Bitcoin price, the date. Um, yeah, this is all the information you will need because you have to give this robot or, you know, as much information as possible. You want it to continue to learn. So you're going to have to continue to feed this robot information to help and learn. So once you get that data set, all that information, usually in CSV file or Excel file, you come over here. Um, this is ML jar. Um, this is actually a free platform. Um, you can there there is a pain part, but you can use this for uh, just one model and it's free. I tested it out, and it, it's pretty good. So basically, they have a couple of algorithms on it, and they have a neural network, which is deep learning. And <clears throat> I took some data for the forex market and put it in there and it was all winning trades and i had another model which was uh trades that were winning and losing trade and i wanted um my model i built it was a, a deep learning network to see uh how we would trade this market and because i knew which trades were bad and good just to see if it was spit out this is good this is bad this is good this is bad and I got some pretty good results out of it. So what I built, my, the model I built was pretty good. Now, it could be models built way better than that. Um, this is that a robot. I'm gonna be talking to them Friday because in the future, I will want to build a professional uh, AI trading bot. And basically, let's go over here. You take your data set and you, you drop it into their platform and it goes through hundreds of algorithms and it spits out a, an API and it spits out, you know, uh, which one perform the best. And it, it gives you information about what it is, what's this learning, um, why is it predicting certain things this way? And you can take some blenders and mix it within your, um, your model, which is insane. So this is all automated. I really, really like this platform, so I'm gonna to talk to them to see how much the pricing is on this because I truly um, would like this. Also, these guys um, have cloud service, so I can take some data from like Binance, take an API data from Binance within my, um, my learning model and run it 24 hours a day, and my trading bot will learn every day, 24 hours. 
Okay? So this is something insane. And the next step after this, guys, if you want something to be able to, uh, you, I know you want to be able to back test it. If you want to build a trading bot, you probably have to hire the third party to be able to uh, take your data, your API data, and set it up to make it a efficient trading bot to say, hey, trade here, sell here, trade here, sell there with your model. It's possible. It's easy to them, but you probably gonna have to pay them money. So that's the next stage after that, okay, guys? Um, and I want to just show you a couple places that are doing this already. So this is FinBrand. Basically, they use deep learning. They have a deep learning robot. Um, you go on YouTube, look for them. They show it, um, and it's just a regular trading bot, and they give you predictions of the future of certain markets. You have to pay for this platform, but they have some free predictions on here already. If you go over here to cryptocurrencies coming down here, they don't have Bitcoin to USC. Every once in a while, they do. Um, this is you go to show data, and this is what they do. They give you a prediction ten days ahead of time using a neural network, their neural network robot. So this is some incredible stuff. All you do is, you know, you go to your exchange, uh, you put in your buy. And you put in your stop loss at wherever you think expect it to go, wherever you think the Nero, the AI bot is going to go. And that is it. Simple. So check out them when you guys can. Also, I think I I will have them on my channel Sunday or Saturday. One of those days, because I spoke to them. Next thing, go check out Gecko. This is for cryptocurrency uh trading. You can actually just build a traditional um trading bot with just signals, but you can take the model built out of here and the model built out of here and convert it over to here, guys. Now, you're going to have to know Python to do that, but I've seen multiple YouTubers um, produce this. Just go to YouTube, search it, and it will be there for you guys. All right, next up, um, Avocado uses Neural Network. Um, and this is like 2018, I've heard of them using machine learning. So let's look at what he's doing. Um, this guy is incredible. He graduated from Harvard. He lives in Korea and he started up a company in Korea. So he has to know multiple languages. Just a genius computer science guy. I actually have the data to actually do stuff with it uh, for, for that period that I, that I put in. So that's cool. Wonderful. Good. Great. Got all the data. What, what do we do with it? So I'm here inside my avocado term. So I just want to let you guys know, he got that data from Trader Views. So I'll put the video at the bottom. You can guys go look at it and check it out. And as you can see, I can just look at all of these different indicators and all this stuff that's happening. I can move it back and forth. And there's so many different periods and time horizons. And how do, I'm trying to make sense of all this. We're going to use neural nets in order to basically learn for us and then take in all these signals and output what's going on. In my avocado terminal, I can open up my command line and let's type in the command neural. This will pull up the search and the command neural and now I've loaded up my neural. I can choose a file. So I'm gonna choose the file I just made, which is this one, chart data 19. Open it up, it immediately imports it. So this is all the data. And it automatically begins to indicate what's good buy opportunity sell. So this is how we're gonna train our bot. So then you click on train bot and then we have all of the stuff. So we have Elder's Ray Force, Relative Index, et cetera. So let's pull up our data over here. So here's my data. So let's create uh, an example. 280 is kind of lowish. Let's start at 283. Here we go. That was at 44. Relative Strength Index was 44. Elder's Force was negative 2,000. So these are the numbers I'm going to test. I'm going to say look at relative strength index and elder force. And that put the data in. See what happens. Negative 2,800. All right. So you can select however many things. And like I say high, low. This is what I'm going to be testing. But it already trains itself. So I'm going to click get output. And this is a by heart. So it just it analyzed all that stuff for me. And now I'm going to let's see what would have actually happened there. So. I'm here. Well, yeah, that was definitely a buy because it was really low, right? So, and different indicators work at different times. To, to give a really simple example, let's let's do a retrain here, and I'm going to do a 
a low price, right? Analyze low prices. So lows are 285, 285. So this should, this should definitely be a buy, um, or 279 even. So this should like be a, a complete buy. So 270, 279. And then I'll get the output. It'll train itself. And yeah, look, that's pretty much that. On neural nets, it just looks for patterns. That was really easy. 0.97. It, it says sell, right? All right, guys. So let me show you this output. So the higher the number is to one, that's the um, the answer that the neural network is giving you. So um, that's just something you just got to learn when you see uh, putting these models in and uh, extracting the data and seeing things like that. So you, you're looking for the, the closest number to one. So there's a lot of free products out here. I'm trying to think there are more free products out here. I, I just can't show you guys all because that's just taking up so much time. But this is a exchange. Check it out. It's avocado. It's free. You can download it for free and trade on it. So check it out when you guys can. So I'm going to end the video right there, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Leave that comment at the bottom. Please leave it at the bottom to let me know what you guys think about artificial intelligence. There are a couple uh, AI hedge funds out there. There's not a lot. So I think that's going to dramatically change in the future to have your, you know, your personal bot trade for you. Um, hopefully, my goal is to get a bot built for me um, the correct way. Like I said, I want a neural network bot and I want a machine learning bot, bot and I want them both to learn while I'm asleep. And um, it's, it's a couple of things you have to uh, think about. You don't want to bottleneck your bot, like overtrain it. So, you know, those things I have to learn. But overall, they'll probably be able to trade better than me because cryptocurrency is 24 hours and I can't trade 24 hours a day. Hit the like button one more time. You know, hit it again. And all you guys have a good day. And all you guys have a good night. And enjoy the crypto life. Peace.